I said, baby, I really don't know if I want to be that sticky. What if Skittles are made on Jupiter? By Jove, I've got it. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Seriously, bro. Papa's got a new bag of tricks. Looking up at the night sky, you might think that space is dull. Now, this isn't doomy, but it's fascinating. And so I'm taking you on a journey with me. Hello and welcome to the latest Thor News adventure. Here I am. And here we are, my love. Talking about Jupiter. This video is going to have a real underlying woo 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 factor. Man, I just, I was pulling down the Canadian, Frenchian, Japanian, Chinese, forget. Canada, France, China telescope, trying to see if I could find Comet Q2 Lovejoy. And guess what? They had a bunch of condensation, I guess. And so, it made the pictures all funny looking. And I noticed that when Jupiter goes by, it turns into a bright, magical, colorful rainbow. Now maybe that would have been enough for me to make a video, right? But probably not. I got a whole ton of subjects to choose from. I'm backlogged. So there had to be something else that was special. Ooh, there it is. Did you see it? We have Jupiter go by, and then we have an unidentified red Nibiru-esque object. I'm just kidding, man. I don't even believe in Nibiru. Um, but there is another object that goes by, as you can play in the sea. And I think this is interesting because I made that video about the object behind Jupiter that people explained to me was the Beehive Galaxy, and that's fine, even though the galaxy's round and light reflects off it as if it were a ball, or the world, as the NASA channel likes to say. Um, are you ready to play? What the fudge nipples is that giant planet star looking thing behind Jupiter? Fudge nipples are by far the most harmless of all nipples. An unnamed planet star thingy behind it. So that's, you know, I had just made that video, and since then we haven't gotten a lot out of the stereo HI cameras as far as watching the object. The graphics are about, you know, like, they're like video games from the 70s, and I don't think they had video games in the 70s, you know? So I just thought I'd point this out there. And as Thor loves to slide along the rainbow bridge that connects Earth to Valhalla. Man, I love the rainbow. Color is best when all the colors are together. I believe it's called Spectrum. What do you think it is? Huh? Hey man, this video is total woo. What if Skittles are made on Jupiter? Do Skittles taste Jovian? By Jove, I've got it. People are mad like, man, this video sucks. They're like, well, I thought it was cool. You know, how often do you see Jupiter turn into a rainbow and then some unidentified comet-like object behind it? You know, it's got a tail. That's a tail, man. All right, great. And then she was like, I want to bathe you in honey. I said, baby, I really don't know if I want to be that sticky. You know, because if she was talking like a legitimate fill a bathtub with honey, A, that is expensive. B, you're not even sure that experience is going to feel good. You know, I mean, how long is it going to take to get all the honey off? I mean, you can get on your hair. Even if she's eating some of the honey, you can only eat like a few spoonfuls before you get sick. So there you're going to be there with a female who gets a sugar rush and then feels sick. And then you're covered in honey. And you spend 500 bucks. You know. Wait, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, there's a thing behind Jupiter. But they may kill us all. Everybody run. I mean, stay where you are. What if Skittles are made on Jupiter? By Jove, I've got it. So that's interesting. Are you ready to play? What the fudge nipples? Is that giant planet star looking thing behind Jupiter? Hey, you're not allowed to get mad at fudge nipples. Because fudge is neither male nor female. And B, fudge is not even human. So there's nothing sexy about fudge nipples. I say things like, Welcome to the native sound. 